Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to an update on the uh, self-build extension at home. It's been a while since I've done a video and as you can see, this is the reason why. We've had some good weather and I've just cracked on and we've got the whole thing up to lintel height or joist height, just about. Uh, pretty much ready for some scaffolding apart from down one side where we're going to have to put some more courses of bricks in so I've been laying all the bricks I think I've done a pretty good job uh, obviously I'm getting better as I go up and Gemma's pointed out that unfortunately the best work I'm going to do is going to be right up at the top where nobody can see so we've got the brickwork and block work up at the back the door and the kitchen window with lintels across the top all the block works up well above my head you see I'm reaching up here so we're talking 2100 uh, all this wall down the side is ten and a half meter wall went up really well uh, just a few days to get this up actually I was quite surprised as to how well that went up we've broken into the house to figure out where we're gonna put the pad stones for the steels I've just foamed it temporarily to stop all of the insulation blowing out so we've got a pad stone to go in here, uh, a cast in place pad stone to go there, and then that block there has got to come back out, the one with a cross on it there. And we've got to put a pad stone in there. Um, I just got carried away, we've got some cavity closures in the windows. I put them in today. And I've just done an acid wash on the front to uh, get rid of any cement mortar stains and I must say it looks fabuloso um, I probably could have done this section differently where I've stepped it down we've got a stepped cavity tray and a stepped um, DPC because of all this this is actually quite quite a slope if I show you this way so that originally would have been up against that section of the wall um, we dug it all out obviously to put the footings in. I don't think I'm going to fill it back in. I think what I'm going to do is continue that um, retaining wall there all the way across and we'll put a wall up in the garden to separate the boundary properly and maybe a nice little um, fence on top. Maybe something similar to what they've got over the road there. If you can see that. Just with some cast iron railings on the top, not cast iron, wrought iron railings. And then if we come down to the side, you can have a look where we are on the side of the building. And uh, I've run out of sand building sand today. So I've managed to put in three courses, I think, with one mix. And it's all looking nice, nice and straight. Plum. I'm very, very pleased, actually. And I'm blown away that I'm managing to pull this off. So the next big job is we're going to wait for some steels to come probably next week. Now I've just had a phone call from one of the guys. Uh, I'm going to have to put some needles through here to carry the internal and external skin. Acros, needles, and then we'll lift this steel up into place. This will be the first one that goes in. Um, it spans across onto here then we're going to build a wall off of that steel all the way up and we're going to take this up to the wall plate height and then there's going to be a pitch roof on this section here lean to roof and we can pretty much get this section closed off to the elements need to order a door a side light and a bathroom window I may as well order the stuff around the back as well the French doors and the kitchen window and I'll probably order the upstairs stuff uh, and I, cause I can build them in we shall see but I need to get a bathroom functioning downstairs so that we can fit the steel in the back now this is a bit more of a pain in the ass. there's only one steel going in here and that's just to carry the uh, floor the upstairs floor or the kitchen ceiling if you like uh, and then all this wall's got to come out and then there's another steel up there which i have to build this all the way up that steel runs along there to carry the wall plate 
the roof and then off of that two steels run that way to carry the pike end and it's only carrying that little triangle of brickwork above these two windows uh, so there's only going to be a few tons on that but all the same I'll probably take the external skin out as well I don't see what the point of leaving it in is there for the internal skin's going to remain because it's carrying a pearl in for the roof of course but there we go that's where we are at the moment I've been doing this non-stop uh, today's the 15th of February and considering we didn't get planning until what was it November I reckon I've cracked on so there's a quick update for you guys thank you very much for sticking with me I'll try and get some more videos out soon but as you can see I am skiving off work to get this project completed so realistically I should be doing as much work on here as I can when I can so I've not had much time for social media or going out or anything like that want to get it done before the spring you see so uh, anyway thumbs up guys and we'll see you on the next video thank you very much ciao